The Priority Current e-bike is a full-featured premium electric bicycle. We're talking a 500 watt mid-drive motor, Gates carbon belt drive setup, an Enviolo Nuvinci internally geared hub that is actually a CVT with stepless gearing in a wide 380% range, composite fenders, automatic lights that turn on when the sun goes down, an integrated battery, dual piston hydraulic disc brakes, internally routed wiring, and a torque sensor for the most accurate and natural feeling pedal assist. That's a lot of nice parts there. Now the bike debuted at $26.99, and so when you compare that to a budget bike, there's some serious value here. Consider something like a $1,500 Rad Power bike, and don't get me wrong, I love Rad, but for barely a G more, you're getting all of those nice high-end features that you don't find on budget bikes. Instead, you normally find those features on e-bikes in the $3,500 to $5,000 range. Now to be fair, the Priority Current is back up to its MSRP now of $29.99 after the initial promotional period, but we've got a discount code for you to bring the price back down to that awesome debut price. And that discount code is, of course, something I'm going to tell you at the end of this video. Okay, moving on. Let's look at that belt drive now for a second. That is a Gates CVX, and it is a thing of beauty. It's smooth to pedal, it makes zero noise, it requires zero oiling or maintenance, and it just works. It'll outlast a chain by three to five times as many years, and it is such a nice piece of equipment that doesn't require any maintenance. In fact, the whole bike is low maintenance, not just the drive. There are hydraulic disc brakes that you never have to fiddle with like you do with cable brakes. There are automatic lights that turn on when it gets dark and run off the main battery so no swapping double A's. And there's a continuously variable transmission with an infinite number of gear ratios and which replaces a maintenance heavy derailleur that I always seem to be trying to tune to remove that chain rubbing noise and gear skipping. These are all premium parts that just make the bike so much nicer to use. You've probably noticed by now that there's no suspension here, but this isn't really a trail bike. It's a street bike, a commuter bike. It's meant for bike lanes and open road, which most cyclists will be quite familiar with. You don't really need suspension on these types of bikes, and the gel saddle already gives you a comfortable touch point, but you could add a suspension seat post if you really wanted more cushion. And with three different frame sizes and an adjustable stem, you can pretty much find the perfect fitment for just about any rider. Now when it comes to operating the bike, there's no throttle, this is a pedal assist e-bike, but it's so easy to pedal with that belt drive and Enviolo transmission and torque sensor that you won't miss the throttle, at least I don't. I'm actually really enjoying pedaling this bike, and I find that I usually stick to level 1 or 2 when I'm riding for leisure slash fitness, and I bump it up to level 3 when I'm just riding for transportation and need to get somewhere, like riding to the store or to meet friends. If it's really hot outside, or if I'm running late, I'll bump it up to level 4 or 5 and fly along at 28 miles per hour or 45 kilometers per hour, but that's pretty rare for me. The higher levels are there if you want them, but I find I don't need them too much. And if you live in an area with 20 mile per hour max speeds, you're already set since that's actually how the bike ships. I rode it that way with a 20 mile an hour speed limit for a total of 2 miles until I went into the settings and de-restricted it. But that's just me. Maybe you don't need 28 mile per hour speeds and you want to leave it alone. That's fine too. One note about the pedaling, and it's the one area where I can see a bit of room for improvement here. When I'm maxing the bike out at 28 miles an hour, the pedal cadence is a bit fast for me. I could do with a bit higher gearing. But then again, I'm not riding full speed all the time either, and most bikes don't get ridden at full speed all the time, so it feels fine for me probably 98% of the time. With my average of level 2 or 3 pedal assist usage, I'm getting something like 35 miles per charge or about 56 kilometers. The bike is rated for nearly twice that much range, but that's only if you keep it in level 1. Even so, the 500 watt hour battery gives me plenty of range, and I don't ever ride more than 35 miles at once, so I'm all set. If I ever get to the point where I do longer rides than that, I'll probably be in good enough shape that I can use level 1 the whole time anyways. <laughs> 